I'm Craig Coleman and today, today we're tying the squirmy worm for Fly Stream magazine. Now the, um, the squirmy worm is certainly not a traditional fly, and in fact uh, would raise a few eyebrows in some circles, but one thing you can't deny about the squirmy worm is how effective it is. A very effective fly, um, particularly when you've got high water uh, or discoloured water. So as an early season fly, uh, it really is a, a very effective fly. Um, the, I like to tie this on a, a Hannock hook, an H450BL size 14, so um, a smaller jig style hook, uh, but I put pretty big beads on them. This one's a 3.5mm bead, but often I'll tie on 4mm beads as well. And I just match the bead colour uh, to the colour of the squirmy worm material I'm using. Now in this instance I'm tying with pink, um, and it's probably my favourite colours, but Look, this comes in a wide range of, of different sizes, or different colours, should I say. So a little bit of wax, and one of the tricks with using this material is just put a little bit of dubbing on now, and it tends to ensure that the thread doesn't cut through the squirmy worm material. It's actually not easy material to use, this squirmy worm material, and probably, I don't particularly enjoy using it, but I enjoy the results I get when I'm fishing the fly, so hence I'm prepared to put up with that. So the, the trick is not to bind down too, too tightly. You see they're just firm at best, turns I'm laying over that, that squirmy material and then coming back the other way. Back towards the, uh, the bead there and then come in front. And just twist out. You almost have to manipulate this. What we want is we want the material sitting on top of the hook and going straight back rather than clunking around either side. Then we'll come backwards with this with just moderately firm turns. Not You see, I'm not pulling that down really hard. You see how slippery this material is? And then lock, just put your thumb finger there to hold it and then come back whoop, the other way up to the bead. Once we've got that there, now we can tie this in right behind the bead there, but more firmly. So it's one of these materials that you do need to practice with a bit. It's not that you'll just pick it up first time round and go, oh yeah, that's easy to tie with. It's actually, it's a, it's a fiddly material to tie with. So we've got, if you like, a tail, a slimish, you know, sort of body there. And just to neaten it up, you probably don't even need to do this, but I like to, is to put some dubbing in behind the bead there. I like to use this Hens UV eye stub. Um, so a bit of that in as a collar behind the bead. And you can just match, say, there's a lot of different materials in the squirmy worm itself. Just play about with different coloured beads to suit the tail and again different coloured dubbings to suit the overall colour as well. So just dub that in there. And just tie off in behind there. Not the most elegant of flies, but an ex extremely effective fly to use particularly early season when the rivers are running up discoloured or high. This film was proudly brought to you by The Fly Fisher in Melbourne and theflyfisher.com.au where you'll find everything to tie the squirmy wormy and a whole lot more.